Stephen, when the city of Inkster wanted access to the court's bank accounts, Chief Judge Sylvia James simply closed those accounts rather than allow the city to monitor expenses. Now, the state Supreme Court is about to examine the court's books. But the verbal battles of recent months have angered the judge, and her attorney says it should be time to sue. I mean, I would sue the mayor if I were my client. I, you know, I believe that that's the only way to clarify this. Attorney Sharon McPhail represents her longtime friend, Inkster Chief Judge Sylvia James, and says she's not surprised. In fact, she's pleased that the state Supreme Court will audit the books of the 22nd District Court in Inkster, where James has been chief judge for more than 20 years. The announcement came this morning from Region 1 Administrator Deb Green that the audit will start on Thursday. Auditor will be there approximately two weeks, um, looking at all of their records and books and um, case files and things like that, and then we'll come out with a report several weeks after that. It's been three years since the last audit of the court. That's just one of several concerns the Inkster City Council has brought to the judge. The court and city management have been in an ugly dispute over the court's handling of funds for months. On several occasions, they have asked to see the court's financial records, but so far, the judge hasn't responded to their requests. There's a specific Supreme Court order that requires any district court judge, any district court administrator to produce the financial records of any district court to anybody that requests them. McPhail says all the fuss is no more than inkster politics, but that her client wants all the fuss to end when the audit is completed. The judge is very happy about that. The more, the better. She has offered, and I have offered, to have any audit they want mm -hmm. conducted for at least nine months. There's another important update on the Judge James controversy tonight. We have told you about Mike Green. He's the longtime bailiff for Judge James. Well, he's been fired. He faces four felony charges and up to 22 years in prison if convicted. Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News. Uh,